guys welcome back okay so as you read by the title I did decide to go by the drugstore and check out a few new items I say drugstore but I went to Ulta and I went to Target and ended up picking up a few new items not necessarily sure if they're new to the market some of them I'm pretty sure are but other ones are just new to me because you guys, like I said, I have not been in the drugstore in quite a while. So since I'm on a low buy and I'm really like avoiding Sephora like the plague, I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and curb my little urge and go to Ulta and Target and see what they have on sale or what's popping right now. So with that being said, I did go pick up a few new items to try out for you guys today so i'm just doing a full face trying these items out this is the look so hopefully you guys are excited to see what i'm trying out and my thoughts first impression thoughts on these items because i'm kind of excited i'm really really liking some of the new products that i'm trying today so let's just go ahead and jump into me trying out all of these new drugstore items that i picked up and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, you guys, so the first product that I purchased when I went to the drugstore is this e.l.f. All Day Stay Eyeshadow Primer. Now, once again, I don't know if this is new, but it's new to me. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a light pink creamy consistency. Now, you guys know I don't like using my fingers to apply products on my face except for like moisturizers or primers. So I'm using a large brush just to blend this and spread it out all over my lid. And I was a bit confused because it looks like it just <laughs> disappeared. But I decided to go ahead and try tapping it on with my finger because I'm like, well, maybe it'll show up then. But I guess it's the eyeshadow primer that's not supposed to show. It just kind of applies to the lid to help the eyeshadow adhere it says that it's supposed to be crease proof so yeah and actually i didn't have any issues applying my eyeshadow and my eyeshadow did stay on nice and bright all day so it actually worked very well i only paid four dollars for this eyeshadow primer and it's just going to take some getting used to because i'm used to my primers having some type of opacity to them now this here, I picked this up at Target. It's the LA Girl Pro Artistry Eyeshadow Palette. I've never seen this eyeshadow palette anywhere before. So when I saw it at Target, I was like, whoa, is that new? So I don't know if this is new or not, but once again, it's new to me. I picked it up for 14 bucks. It's in the style of some of their latest, kind of nicer eyeshadow palettes that I believe they typically charge about $20 for, but as you can see, there's some gorgeous pops of color in there, blues, greens, gorgeous warm tones, as well as smoky um, shadows that you can use. So I think it's a very nice, well-rounded palette. So I'm starting out with this orange shade. There are names for this palette, but I'm not using them. They're on a plastic sticky but i'm just placing that orange kind of terracotta shade in my crease area and as you can see the pigmentation is showing up very nice it popped instantly it just is very very pretty it blended out nicely on that eyeshadow primer so first impression on that elf eyeshadow primer i think it works very nicely um i don't know if just the shadows blend out very easily or if that primer helped it out but it was smooth sailing with this eye look today using that primer so this color I just placed it in my crease and kind of blew it out very nicely pigmented now this brown shade here as you can see it's not that dark or deep but I did want to use it to kind of add a little bit of depth to this look so I just kind of tapped it in the outer and inner corners and dragged it throughout my crease and like I said it's not that dark as you can see but it did do a very nice job of just kind of warming up and deepening my crease area sometimes eyeshadows of course do not um, place well on top of each other 
and that could be it too maybe if I was just using this by itself it might show up a little bit darker but for what I wanted it to do today it worked out just fine and as you can see these shadows blend into each other very nicely also no skipping no patchiness very nice for LA girl now I decided to do something a little different I'm taking this gorgeous like navy blue shimmer shadow and just using kind of like a small pointer type brush to place that in my inner and outer corners and I'm just kind of dragging it throughout my crease I don't typically work shimmers like this you know blending them out and kind of using them in the corners like this but I wanted to do something a little different and when I saw this color I just thought it would blend so nicely with that brown and orange and y'all <laughs> these shimmers in this palette oh my goodness LA girl did not come to play with these palettes did I tell you I paid $14 for this palette so now I'm just going back in with the brown shade and just blending out the edge of that blue making sure that those three colors just kind of create a nice blend together in my crease now I wanted to try something a little funky because I wanted to use the green as well. So I just took a fluffy brush, picked up some of that green shimmer and decided to just tap it on that empty center space on my lid. And oh y'all, this green shade is so pretty. The pigmentation is gorgeous. It blended in with that blue beautifully. I really really like how those colors look together they just they came together so nicely I'm really pleased with this palette so now I'm just going in throwing on some of my black liquid liner from NYX if you guys watch me regularly you know this is my favorite black liquid eyeliner um, along with the wet n wild the wet n wild is my OG favorite so moving on to the face I did pick up some of the new elf matte putty primer it doesn't have any t any scent to it at all. It is stark white, you guys. <laughs> I mean, stark porcelain white. I didn't wanna dig my nails in there, so I decided to just go in with kinda like a dense brush to place it on my face. And this primer is very smooth. It is very, very smooth. I'm kinda surprised with it being the matte one because it actually looks a little bit luminous to me when I put it on I'm like did I get the right one but yeah this is the matte putty primer and as you can see it does leave a white cast when you put it on I actually like putting my primer on with a brush I might do this more often <laughs> but um, yeah it does leave a white cast and very smooth and silky I mean first impression I like the application of it only time will tell as far as you know the longevity of my foundation and makeup and how it reacts on my skin but first impression I like it it doesn't feel sticky or tacky or anything to me it's just nice and smooth so yes I am trying the new Milani screen queen foundation in the shade 480 it's the Spice Toffee Caramel. There is a pump for this foundation, which is nice. I picked this up from Ulta. It was 14 bucks. I did use my little 350 off coupon for what I bought. But yeah, this foundation, this is what it looks like, you guys. So it's, it's a nice consistency, not too thick, not too runny. It's kind of perfect, actually. And I think the shade that I chose for myself is pretty decent now this foundation does have a little bit of a scent to it um it is <clears throat> excuse me it is reminiscent of the wet and wild kind of paint smell you know their foundation that smelt like paint <laughs> it's reminiscent of that to me but it's it wasn't as strong it wasn't as strong to me as the wet and wild one and it did dissipate as I put it on my face. Um, you know, the smell went away very quickly. By the time I was done applying it, I couldn't smell it anymore. But you guys, this foundation claims luminous natural skin finish, 
buildable light to medium coverage and long wear. Now, I was pretty surprised with the light to medium coverage. Yes, I can still see some of the dark discoloration around my mouth, but most foundations I can still see that, <laughs> even if they claim to be full coverage. So I was pleasantly surprised with the coverage of this foundation. I thought it was going to be more like an extreme light coverage, but it's definitely a very nice, to me, medium, buildable um, foundation coverage. And if it is enough coverage for me, then I know it's really good because like I said, I am a full coverage chick. So first impression just upon application, the scent leaves something to be desired. Um, I do like the shade that I chose for myself. I like the coverage. Um, the finish, I mean, it is a luminous foundation, so I can't complain about that. You guys know I love matte foundations, which is my preference, but I can deal with a luminous foundation because I always set my face anyway with powder. First impression, I like it so far. I am definitely going to keep you guys posted on my thoughts on this foundation because I plan on using this for the next couple of weeks, you know, or until I get tired of it <laughs> mixed in with some of my other foundations. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use this more, but I like it. So I also picked up some of the NYX Born to Glow concealers. I could not resist. I love trying out new concealers. Now I did pick up Warm Caramel and Warm Honey because I wanted one a little bit lighter and one that I would use for every day. Now the Warm Honey is the shade that is a little bit lighter and I would use this one to highlight when I wanna really be snatched and brightened under my eyes. I would use that color. And the Warm Caramel is the one I would use pretty much for every day because it does add just a soft, mild amount of brightening, but not too, too much, as you can see. So I'm going in with the Warm Caramel today because I'm not trying to be snatched <laughs> up in here. Now it does have one of those little sponge tip applicators, which I do not like. I don't like those. So as you can see, I put some of the concealer on the back of my hand and I'm just tapping it on with a regular eyeshadow brush because I prefer doe foot applicators when it comes to concealers as opposed to these little sponge applicators, but it's not a big deal for me. It's not a deal breaker. But as you can see, the coverage is very nice on this concealer. It goes on nice and smooth. Um, the shade range is pretty decent also. I mean, when I was in the store, they had a lot of different um, shade ranges. They had like different steps, like 15.5, 15.7, which is really cool when it comes to concealers. So yeah, I actually like this concealer. I'm not sure about the pricing. It was what, nine bucks for 0.17 ounces, I think. I was kind of comparing it to the Juvia's Place where you get, I think, twice as much. 0.34 for 14 bucks and you know so if it goes on sale yeah I would definitely pick up some more nine dollars is not that expensive for a concealer but when I compare it to other ones that I really really love like the Juvia's Place or the Elf where you get more you know it's like I kind of take those things into consideration now when I'm purchasing things because if it's of equal, you know, if I like it just the same as something else, I don't want to be paying a lot more for something when I like something else just as much that's cheaper. So anyways, enough about the price. This concealer blends out very nicely. It is nice and creamy. It's not drying, mattifying, anything like that. As you can see, it does give you a really nice kind of luminescent glow <laughs> or healthy glow i should say very very nice i love when concealers blend out and just seamlessly blend in with your foundation and that's what this concealer does if you like full coverage concealers that are nice and creamy and just give you a little bit of radiance then you'll like this you'll like it a lot now i'm just going in with some of my fit me loose setting powder um 
this is not new to me or to anybody. <laughs> it's not new at all. But I decided since I am doing, you know, a more affordable drugstore face today to go ahead and pull out my Maybelline. Because in my shop, my stash, I'm going through my Becca powder and that is not cheap or, you know, affordable. So this Maybelline Fit Me Loose powder is also one of my favorites. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about this powder. It is an excellent powder from the drugstore. Now to set my face, I am using this Kiss Pro Touch Matte um, Foundation Powder. And this I am using in my shop, my stash. So I didn't cheat with this one. <laughs> I like this powder as well. It's a very nice powder to use to set your face. I don't use um, powder foundations alone. Of course, you guys know I can't do that. I have too much discoloration, but yeah, as a setting powder, it works really, really nicely. I don't like it better than my Too Faced, but I do like it. Now I'm using my Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer because the bronzers that I have in my shop, my stash, are not drugstore either. And plus, this is my favorite bronzer anyway, so yes, I am cheating. <laughs> but I am still using all my shop, my stash stuff this week in my other videos. But yeah, my Morphe Glamour Bronze, all-time favorite. Um, I have not come across another bronzer that I like as much as this one. The Hula Bronzer is amazing, but I still don't like it better than my Morphe Glamour Bronze. Now for blush today, I am using my Shop My Stash blush. This is the Morphe 8C blush palette. Oh my gosh, the colors in here are so pretty, you guys. These just berry and plum tones. Oh, so, so pretty. So I'm using this last shade here down at the bottom for my blush today. And I'm just gently tapping that on my cheeks because I don't want to go ham. You guys know it is mad easy for me to go ham with the blush. So I'm trying to chill today, but this blush is nicely pigmented and super super beautiful if i would have been thinking i would have used more of an orange tone blush just because of the orange that's in my eye look but it still looks very pretty now this here i was so excited to get this i never buy physicians formula because they are a little bit pricey to me even though they are drugstore but this is the rose all day petal glow this packaging you guys it is so cute and i mean i love how it comes with this cute little brush in here i didn't use it because i don't really typically use brushes like that there's also a mirror in this compact which kind of really really shocked me but i like that a lot and look how pretty this highlighter is you guys it's so pretty and it actually smells like rose petals so so nice so I wanted to go ahead and swatch this for you guys so you can see what a swatch of it looks like up close. You see how gorgeous and soft and reflective it is, so pretty. Now what I will say about this highlighter is that it is soft. Um, it's not, gosh, it's hard for me to describe when I say soft. I mean that as far as describing how it looks as well as how it feels. It's just so soft. And I like that about it. It's not harsh. It's very easy to work with. And I definitely think that if you like this type of glow, you'll really like this highlighter. I think I paid about 14 bucks for it at Target. So I'm just gonna run through the rest of my eyes right quick, you guys. I'm using my Blue Profusion Eyeliner. Going in with the dark brown and the orange from the palette to smoke out my lower lash line. And so this is what my lower lash line looks like after doing all of that. Now for my inner corner pop, I'm going into this really pretty champagne type shimmer shade from the palette. And I went in initially dry. I like to do that sometime just to see how pigmented the shadow is. And it's actually very bright dry but I decided to go ahead and spray my brush just to make it pop a bit more. And yeah, that definitely made it pop even more and it's just so, so pretty. 
Yes, I'm still using my Thrive Cosmetics mascara. I'm so sick of this mascara, you guys. <laughs> I know some of you guys are like, hey, okay, just throw it away. Just get rid of it. But no, I'm going to finish this mascara. Don't get me wrong. It is an excellent mascara. I love it. But you know, you just get sick and tired of using the same thing for so long. I've been using this mascara for months. So for my lips, I'm just doing my usual nude lip routine. So I'm going in with my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner. I love this lip liner. And for the lips, I'm using my Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Slow Down. I bought that from the Shayla Collection. And on top of that, you guys know it's my ELF Mocha Twist Plumping Lip Gloss. It's just the perfect nude lip, you guys. I don't have to think about it, it's so easy. So for setting spray, we're using our Wet n Wild Rose All Day Setting Spray. This spray is bomb, you guys, because you can use it to prep, to prime, to refresh, to set. It has so many different you know, ways to use it. It smells good and it actually works. So I really like it. But so this is the drugstore face, you guys. I have to say, I am extremely pleased with this face. I can't even lie. <laughs> I love everything I use today. I did not have one single dud. But I think the standouts is the eyeshadow palette as well as the Physician's Formula highlighter. I love both of those. So yeah, this is my face for today. Hopefully you guys enjoy creating this drugstore look and i think it came out nice so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles